Hello! And thank you for joining me on another one of my lifestyle series videos. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dimitri and I'm an American expat living in the Philippines. Here I'm going to share with you how my life is going living in Metro Manila. If you find this video entertaining, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And now, sit back, relax, and enjoy as I take you on a journey of my daily life as a time-lapse traveler. That's one of the things that you will only find in the Philippines. Hello, and uh, welcome to another video from the Lifestyle series. I just realized that I haven't actually made any updates for a while already regarding the coronavirus effects here in Metro Manila, or more specifically, BGC in Taguig, the area where I live. As you can see, I'm uh, having a new look over here. Gone is that black mask that I used to wear in my previous videos that you've seen me in. Turns out that not the best way to not only keep myself safe, but also keep others protected in case I happen to be infected and I don't even know about it. The mask that I used to wear before has a valve on the side. So when I breathe out, everything just comes right out. But the surgical mask like this protect air coming in and out. The other new standard is these face shields. Can't really actually go inside any of the locations here. I have to wear this now because I'm about to go to the supermarket. The purpose of today's video, besides giving you the updates on the current situation, it's not much of a lockdown, actually. Stores and restaurants are open already. People are eating out. The streets are getting filled with people. Cars, families, you know, people doing their thing. It's not, that's not really an issue anymore. The protection is still in place where people have to protect themselves like this. And also social distancing rules are still being applied. Today, actually, I wanted to show some of the basic products and prices that are available in the different supermarkets. This video is actually going to be split into a series where today, I'm going to show some common items that can be purchased in Rustan, the supermarket that's closest to where I live. Later videos that I'm going to put together, I'll be showing how the stores are in other places. Hello, Kuya. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm going to be showing some of the product comparisons in uh, Rustan's and uh, show the counterpart of the same product in a different store to see how the different stores stack up against each other. Should be an interesting comparison video, so. Let's check that out. This uh, stand over here with the security guard, there used to be a sign-in sheet basically where everybody had to sign in for background tracing. You had to put in your phone number, and email address, and your address just in case there was an outbreak so that people would be able to get a contact trace. But that's been removed right now. Just get your temperature taken. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, temperature checks are not going away anytime soon. It's going to be the standard. Hey, how are you? Yeah, a lot of people here are starting to recognize me already since I come here so often. One of the things that I like to buy here is actually these bread loaves. Either sesame loaf or something similar. So it's usually on some kind of a sale. It's a very nice sized loaf, kind of hefty. One thing I like to get for the house is grape. Grapes here though are sometimes very expensive. 750 pesos a kilogram. That's definitely the most expensive one. And this one, this is 499 kilograms, still very expensive. But luckily they have grapes on sale. 329 a kilogram, buy one get one free. So these look nice and dark, so I'll get this one. And then next, we go on to look at the lettuce because if you've seen my uh, cooking videos from before I like to make salads uh, as a regular staple for our dinner table and lunch actually so I always like to get the salad leaves here they go for 315 a kilogram definitely not the cheapest but pretty good quality lettuce I don't need any right now but this is definitely one of the items that I would normally be picking up then we see these eggplants, and these are the local eggplants. Uh, they are long and thin, not like the bulky bulbous ones like this, and they are 85 pesos a kilogram. It's a pretty standard, decent price. These slightly different ones for 94 pesos a kilogram. So there's some variety. These ones, however, are 195 a kilogram. Pretty big difference. I also like getting zucchini. Chop them up and saute them. 142 pesos a kilogram. Oh my God, look at this cucumber. This is a monster. 86 pesos a kilogram, and it's almost a kilogram, because this one cucumber, damn, this is a giant. 70 pesos for one cucumber. Oh, wow. <laughs> also enjoy getting sayote. It's one of my favorite uh, local vegetables over here. 40 pesos a kilogram. That's how you know it's local. Price is pretty good. Then tomatoes. Tomatoes are a staple of any self-respecting salad. So that goes for 85 pesos a kilogram. The loose tomatoes typically should be cheaper instead of uh, prepackaged ones, but these are 90 pesos a kilogram. Wonder what that is. Bananas is another very common product that I get, and these are 95 pesos a kilogram over here. These are, oh, these are the Cavendish bananas. That's why they're kind of pricey. Lakatan bananas are usually cheaper. Oh, Lakatan, there we go. 110 
It's actually more expensive. When it comes to meat, I typically just stick with chicken and the uh, chicken breast filet. So over here, the no-name brand, it's 249 kilogram, or this brand name, Magnolia. It's one of the most popular brand names here in the Philippines. It's 301 a kilogram. Now, from my personal experience, whether you get the name brand or the Magnolia, the quality of the meat is about the same. So going for the cheaper one, usually is not really a problem. Eggs, I've seen basically every store sell eggs for about the same prices, you know, just over 100 usually. What I always find interesting is that whether you buy medium size eggs or large size eggs, price is just about the same. There's hardly any difference. In the US, when you're looking for different size eggs, uh, there's a you know pretty hefty difference between what you're getting. But over here, I have to say that there's a difference between 101, 102, 105, 108. Oh yeah, here are some cheaper ones, 95. For a dozen eggs, you're gonna be spending about 100 pesos, maybe just over that, but. And here's some multigrain bread. Oh, this is just sweet. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna stay, stick with the wheat. We'll look at the sugar. And this is actually one of the things that I'm here to get. 27 pesos for half a kilogram of sugar. Now that can't be all that bad. And brown sugar or white sugar, different brands, seems to be about the same. Now when it comes to rice, there's a pretty big spread in the pricing. Here we have 10 kilograms for 670 pesos. And this is Super Angelica by Shorebuy. Shorebuy seems to be one of the value brands over here. By that, I mean you get relatively similar quality products for better price. 10 kilograms is 670 pesos, five kilograms is 338, so it's pretty similar pricing. Of course, the more you buy, the better the value, but it's not a big difference. Some of the stores, like the Metro Supermarket, there you get those big bins where you get to pour in the rice yourself, and that's usually a better value. You can get 42 pesos per kilogram, which means that it's gonna be, what, like 420 pesos per 10 kilograms. We don't really eat much rice, Chris and I, ironically enough, even though she's a bred and born Filipina, but I actually got her to eat buckwheat with me, which you could also check out on one of my previous videos. When we do eat rice, we do eat white rice, of course, but we try to stick to dark rice like this one. Forbidden rice. This one's definitely quite a bit more expensive. You can get it for reasonable pricing, considering you know that this is a premium type of rice blend. 108 pesos for one kilogram, actually a little less, 800 grams. One thing that I've had difficulty finding here in the Philippines is good value dairy product, because Philippines is not really known for having a lot of dairy farms. There are not that many cows <laughs> that they have over here. If you're looking to buy milk, then you're going to be spending a lot, unless it's on sale like this. 165 pesos for not one, but two liters. This is actually a fantastic deal. Wow, I've never seen such a thing before here in the Philippines. I wasn't planning to get any milk, but you know what? This is not going to expire until almost a month from now. Consider me sold. Chris doesn't tolerate dairy right now, so for her, I have to get this way more expensive oat milk or almond milk substitute, which is roughly the same price. 215 pesos for one liter. Kind of outrageous, but unfortunately, we don't really have a choice right now. This one right here from France, one liter for 139 pesos kind of milk I get is this one right here. Large containers of milk. This is two liters in one bottle, 240 pesos. It's actually not bad also comparing to most others. When it comes to other milk products, it's the same kind of deal. Pretty expensive across the board. Like these yogurts over here. Ah, there we go. Corned beef, very popular staple Filipino kitchens. Something like this one here, Pure Foods, 99 pesos for 210 grams. It's uh, enough for about maybe three or four plates when you mix it with rice and egg. It's a very common breakfast. We used to have that more often, but when I took over the kitchen, I'm not really going for this very much. Or this smaller container, 150 grams for 72 pesos. Yeah, this is definitely enough for two people to have a nice breakfast. Some other brands can be way cheaper though, like this one right here, Argentina brand. 175 grams for 37 pesos. I honestly don't really know the difference between them as far as quality goes, but these two brands have got to be quite different. Spam is a pretty popular corned beef substitute. 175 pesos for 12 ounces. It's an American household staple, which has been exported to the Philippines. Ah, this has water. This is one of Chris's favorite things to drink. C2 Classic Green Tea, iced tea. 27 pesos for a larger bottle like this. Now what's really unfortunate is that when it comes to other flavors, like the lemon and the apple flavor, you can get larger bottles. A one liter bottle for 43 pesos, but when it comes to this flavor, half a liter. This is the largest bottle you're gonna get. It's very irritating, but no store that I've ever been to ever carries larger bottles of this flavor iced tea than half a liter. Nobody can give me an answer why. Is it that unpopular, really? When you see advertisements on billboards, usually you see the classic green tea, the green one, in the front, but you don't actually get the availability of the larger bottles. 
Now another one of our favorite products to eat besides buckwheat, <laughs> something that's not very common here, is quinoa. That's another thing, it's super expensive. This 700 gram bag of quinoa, 585 pesos. That's really quite expensive. This is one of the things that we like to get shipped to us from New York City by my mom. 250 grams of quinoa, 565 pesos. That's really, really intense. These prices are just, just insane. Can't do anything about it. Quinoa is not catching on here in the Philippines. Hopefully someday it might become more popular. Right now it has to be imported. Demand is very low. So <laughs> that's why supply is tiny and prices are just retarded. But other stores are having the same issue with this. That's just how it is here. When it comes to picking out a breakfast cereal, for Chris and I, this is one of my favorites, the No Brand Cereal. <laughs> Very ironically named No Brand Brand. It's actually from South Korea, and this is not a bad value. 600 grams for 251 pesos. Could definitely do worse, especially when you compare it to other brands. It's actually one of the cheaper options over here. Considering that it's a pretty good quality cereal, you're not gonna do much better than that. Other ones include Cheerios, 399 pesos for a measly 12 ounces, 340 grams. So you're definitely gonna be paying a lot more. Of course, it's not a fair comparison, multi-green Cheerios to these lightly frosted flakes. But when you compare it to the more popular version of the frosted flakes, Kellogg frosted flakes, they're great as people would know. These are 200 pesos for 450 grams. So this still comes out to be more expensive than the no brand brand. Also, they're not as overly sweet, which is definitely a better deal because who wants so much sugar in their diet? Now, Chris and I have been indulged in this for a while, but ice cream here costs for the top brand, Ben & Jerry's, about 400 pesos per pint. Yeah, that is expensive, but you're really not gonna find much better quality ice cream than this. This is as good as ice cream can get, unless of course you can find Karma's Best, the local brand, which really is the best brand. You might've heard me mention that in one of my previous videos before. One brand that I don't consider real ice cream, but like a poor imitation of ice cream is Selecta. Notice the price is so much less. 285 pesos for a large 1.3 liter container like this. Way better deal, but when it comes to quality, oh my God, what a difference. There's really no comparison. So these are just some of the products that I wanted to show here in Rustan supermarket. Next, I'm going to show what the prices are for similar products at a different supermarket, either SM Hypermart or in Metro supermarket. So we can get to do a little side-by-side -side comparison at which store actually gives you the best value for the same kind of products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and enable the notifications through the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Always take care of yourselves and each other and stay tuned for our really special next video coming up from the Timelapse Traveler.